it is early it is like six o'clock in the morning we're going to a very big yard sale about an hour away from here let's get in the car head that way so we have made it to the big yard sale i have my ikea bag this time so that's good let's go see if we can find a flipping line for a profit Does this say snap on? Yes, it does. It's for snips. So what? Uh, Old Milwaukee. Where how much you got that thing? Three bucks. You can't beat that thing for three dollars. Get back to the point. You got it now. There you go. Need some rope? Huh. <laughs> no? What else we got? One place on highway. Camp chef. Here, you're gonna put this in here? You put that in there? No? Box lot five dollars for all. <laughs> they're pretty rough. I think they're here last time. This one is the performance parts. Snap on. This is snap on. Three books. How did I miss that? It's a husky. Prompt those. Snap. Pretty snap on. Snap on. It's nasty. Is that metal? Yeah, they're metal. Mm -hmm. Four dollars. Are they heavy? They was asking if they're heavy. Yeah. You want them? Yeah, I mean, not heavy, like real heavy. Great. What am I going to do with these? Hold them. <laughs> Put stuff in them. Hold them, please. Give me a little piece of What are you doing, Moose? Bobblehead Moose, how far are you? That's pretty fun. What is that? Stainless steel, no good. Oh, cool. Some toolbox with contents, no separating. 15 bucks? Oh man, the toolbox itself is cool for 15. I'll take it for $15. Why not? Right? Some pretty cool stuff in there. Five bucks. Three bucks. Three. Yeah. Let's go the beer barely. 410. Yeah. Yeah, ours is Coaches. Is that like 50? Yeah, that's high.
we got a little bit of Kayla Cam here, and uh, as you remember, we were just at this yard sale probably about a month ago, and I think this guy buys like uh, lots of stuff or in auctions and then puts stuff that he doesn't want to sell or maybe can't sell or whatever into a yard sale about every uh, every other week. Right here, she picks up a whole bunch of cool purses. Most of our purses do go on whatnot now, uh, and not on eBay unless they're over like 50 or 60 bucks. The prices here are pretty good. Remember, if you do see something in the video that you want, we do have the website, the Bearded Thrift Machine com and then all you have to do is just tell us what you want we'll also post it on there for a better price So you can see here, Kayla's going to pick up these butterflies. Now, something like this we wouldn't sell on eBay. We would go ahead and probably put that in our booth. That's the cool thing about having different ways to sell things. Now we sell on eBay. We sell things in a booth. We sell things on whatnot. And then we also sell large things locally. So having more ways to get stuff uh, sold, you can pick up a large variety of items. <laughs> Bring those kids to your house later. Okay. Hmm. Thank you. Oh, is that a dragon? A dragon. It's only $2. Whoa. It's a good look at dragon. Ten bucks for that thing. There's another one of those dogs. Must be a... I'm going to end up knocking stuff over with this. Oh, yeah. Look at this thing. Oh, he's. Man. He's so cute. The two you see are in these two pieces. Put a name on it. Welcome to our garden. Those are cute. Hmm. Bless this garden. Is that brass? No. Not brass. Crabby. It's a napkin holder. Napkin holder. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Purses. I did. Oh. More piggy banks. It's an old piggy bank. Yeah, old ceramic piggy bank. Interesting. Sweet as pie. A set of two shelf sitters. Huh. 
big old show. From VBS. Perfect. Do you want to shut now? Okay, this is no for the show. What's this thing? That thing is creepy. Look at that. I don't know about that thing. You good? Mm -hmm. All right. All right, so that was actually really, really good. It was a smaller yard sale than last time, but I still think we did super good. I didn't even see what you picked, but we're gonna head to a couple more. I thought that was a um, a uh, LL Bean. I did too. I was like, oh my goodness, we have found the elusive LL Bean boat to tote green, but it's not. It's still a good bag. Everything was super cheap. It was like sixty-seven bucks for everything. On to the next. Got some coated nails. That's pretty fun. Seems like work. That's a nice pot. Don't need it. It's aluminium. Well, science, kid. Whoa, pampered chef. Some hay dudes. How's it going? Good. She bought these in half size, too short, too small. <laughs> How much were you asking on these? Hey, what do you want for the Hades? Ten a piece? Five? I think ten sounds better. <laughs> I like her price better. Five will work. I'd do five on those. You don't have to souls. You got the books of dollar fees, right? Okay. It's a ton of those color street nail things. Oh, wow. I used to sell them. Oh. Uh, no. How much are you selling them for? Three bucks a piece. They go for like 12, 12 to 18 dollars now. And those are older ones, so you can't get most of those anymore. Oh, wow, there's like a lot of them in there. There's a lot. About anything you want in there. <laughs> the cruise was canceled, huh? Yeah, for for each like if you want them, but to like resell, I don't know. So we've actually found these before and sold only small batches. The thing is, is when somebody says three dollars a piece, and you're looking at that, and there's got to be hundreds and hundreds in there. So you start doing quick math. Say if there's two hundred, that'd be six hundred dollars for the box. 300 in there that'd be $900 for the box so that's a lot of money to spend at a yard sale so we actually have to think about it I think I walk away at this point I look up color street stuff on eBay and it looks like they go between five to twelve dollars some of the uh, more like unicorn ones they call them go for anywhere between twenty to fifty dollars a piece so I do end up asking what she would take for the entire box 40. Those are cute. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it is cool. It's almost like it's painted. It's pretty neat. I don't know about these for five bucks. They don't have the insoles, but they're kind of a cool color. No? Mm. They have the llama lights. Yeah, I saw those. They're kind of cool. You think a no for these? Uh, the insoles, like how much would it be if I buy the insoles? I don't think I anybody's don't buying them without the insoles. No, alright. Sign. Uh, five please? Yeah, that'll work. We know four mile flipper. Frog. The frog, oh, yeah. yeah. They're gonna be here in a little bit. Oh. oh cool. I was just gonna ask for a super good deal on all of that. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yep, that's... And your name was? I'm Julian. He just said a super good deal on we bought the whole thing? I know it's you a tough. Whole thing and get it, out of get it out of your hair. Just you don't you don't want to keep looking at it, you know. I don't. You know how long I've been. You've been staring it around three because three is a little high for us to do per. For, yeah, yeah, per. per thing. Yeah. Oh, there's, there's a lot in there. 
So during negotiations, especially when you're asking something about a very large box full of a whole bunch of items, is I don't like really stand around the person like waiting for the answer. They already know I'm interested, so I'll just kind of go mill around a little bit because sometimes they have to talk it over with people, and they don't like talking it over in front of you. So I like go over here, mill around, have them compute things because you got to think there's a lot of stuff in there to them to add up and everything. So I just like to go around, take a look at some other stuff until they actually tell me the price. What do you think? Does that come with it too? The I will throw that in. Thing is, I don't have, you don't have like a Venmo or anything, do you? I do have Venmo. You do? Because that's how we would have to do it, because I don't have that type of. Yeah. Because I would be like out of cash. Okay. You good? 300? Yeah. 300? Okay, everybody's happy with that? I we'll take it. I'm never happy with that. <laughs> 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 All right. Here's a lot of stuff in there, so yes, that'll work. Back from the yard sale, some really cool stuff there. We're just gonna go over a couple things. Uh, this right here is actually a cool little puzzle. It slides up like that, then slides over, and then you open it up like this. Boom, and you have a little trinket box inside. This actually will go probably for like 20 or 30 bucks on eBay, Holly Davidson sign. Probably about $10, $15 on eBay. Uh, that might, if you are interested, again, we have a website. Just tell us. We'll put it on there. But it also might go on whatnot. But these right here. Oh, and this. The Snap-on Multi-Tool right here. Really thought this thing would probably be worth 50 or 60 bucks. It's not. It's worth about 20 bucks. I only paid 5 bucks for it, so I'll take 20 But, uh, you know, these right here, some of them are worth a lot when it comes to the Snap-on. This model itself is actually not that expensive. It's in good condition, just not that expensive. And this is the stuff that I have no idea, but I love buying stuff like this at yard sales where it's a whole bunch of items and you get it at a good price and then it just takes a while to go through it and list everything. I don't know what this flap is doing. I'm trying to show you and the flap keeps falling down. There you go. And uh, so we got everything for $300. Again, first off, you heard her tell, you know, $3 a piece. And at $3 a piece, there's not a lot of wiggle room after fees to make some money. You're going to have to get it a lot cheaper than that. So I was like, man, it's just see what you'll do for the whole box. And that's where people like to get rid of stuff. It's at a yard sale. They want to get rid of it. Don't be shy to ask, hey, what will you take for the whole lot? And uh, I even was very honest. I said, we flipped this stuff online and this is not going to, $3 is just too high for us. And so she could have came back at two or she said, she could have said, hey, I need $3 a piece, and that would be the end of it. It's okay, no big deal. But she didn't. She said, let me take a look. And she counted 300 items, and I think that she's right. I think it's going to be actually a little bit more because there are some down here, like over 50 of them are like up underneath these. So maybe I honestly think there's around 350 pieces to 400 pieces with these included. These are like uh, little tooth pieces or no, there's like little ones in here, like these guys right there. And they sell really good in lots. So I think there's more like 350 to 400 of these items. We spent $300 for everything. And the plan to get rid of these quickly, because they do sell between five and $10 a piece. Now on the high end, say you get $10 a piece, which I know that we won't with over say 350 pieces, that's $3,500. That's that ain't too shabby for a $300 investment, but I think you're going to get more close to $5 a piece. So even if $5 a piece, do the math real quick, it's $1,500 or more dollars. Still with $300 investment, that's not too bad. Uh, some of these will be on eBay. Some of these will be on Kayla's Whatnot Shows. Some of these will be on our website probably. We'll try to get rid of these as fast as possible. On eBay, it looks like they sell very well in lots unless you have the ones that are super valuable and rare. And honestly, we might because we have a ton of them in here, like a ton. So we have no idea, like I said, uh, the value of all of these. Some of them do go for like a lot of money. And Kayla looked through them real quick and she said, yeah, these are like really nice looking. So what we're going to do is go ahead and try to get rid of these quickly and for a good deal. But, but about $5 a piece, that's where it goes to. It's still a steal of a deal for 300 bucks. Also, this walrus right here. It's from that guy, John Rayan, I believe. And look out for him and the other stuff that he does because he got it for $3 and these things go for like 30 bucks. That ain't too bad.
So good day at their yard selling. A steal of a deal, I think, on these guys right here. We could be wrong. I know that doesn't seem like a lot of money. You know, like, oh, you're only going to sell them for $5. That's a lot of work for 5 bucks. Not if you lot them up. Not if you sell them right. Not if you sell them uh, maybe on whatnot. Maybe we can get 5 bucks a piece on whatnot, which that's very fast to sell these. And you're going to make a decent return on only a $300 investment. Remember, you do have, like, taxes and fees and everything like that. So that's why I like to make more than three times my money. More than three times would be 900 bucks. I think that that we're I think we're gonna do 1500 to two grand on this stuff right here. Might take a little bit to sell, or if on whatnot, if people really like them, we'll just maybe do a whole show on them, just burn through them real fast. So we don't know how we're gonna sell them yet. Any uh, ideas? Tell us down below. We always listen to y'all's ideas, read all the comments. We do appreciate all the love and support that y'all give us on this channel. Thank you so much for always commenting. So we're gonna go ahead and get to listing this stuff. I do appreciate everybody watching. Remember, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Comment down below, like the video. You know I will always get you on the next one.